So I just finished up a book, narrating a book for Penguin Random House today from home. And as I was finishing things up and cleaning things up and sending today's session audio off to the proofer and the editor, I had learned that there's some really good news, especially if you're an audiobook narrator or a podcaster. And there's even better news that goes along with the good news, and it has to do with Levelator and Catalina. And I will give you all the details as this episode of the VO Heroes podcast continues. The book today was fantastic. I got to work with one of my favorite producers, Jessica Kay, who's just awesome. The title is amazing. I love it. I'm excited about it. You'll learn more about it when it comes out. I'll tell you about it when it comes out later this year. But when I was done with all the sessions and I was thinking about the fact that the ACX work that I do and the work that I do for publishers is really becoming almost indistinguishable from each other in terms of workflow. I was thinking, you know, I just, you know, I, I, I know that I've created Audio Cupcake to take the place of Levelator because Levelator wouldn't work with Catalina. And then I found out Levelator does work with Catalina because the guy that wrote Levelator, Bruce, came out with a 64-bit version in like the last 15 minutes or something, last week or two days or whatever. The, the point is I just found out about it. And so I went to the App Store, the Mac App Store, and I downloaded it. So let's show you how easy that is to do. You just search for Levelator. Go down here and choose that. There it is. There's Levelator. So we go to the Levelator page and notice there's no price. It's free, just like it was for all the other uh, 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 versions that they had. So in my case, the button says open, but that's because I've downloaded it and installed it. Yours will say get when you first go there. So let's open up uh, the Levelator. There it is. I'm going to quit out of the App Store just to get that off the screen. And note that I have Audacity open behind here. And I also have Audio Cupcake because I want to talk about this. Uh, when I found out about it, I talked to a couple of friends about it, and they were like, oh, you must be so disappointed because you've worked so hard. You and Dave and Coach Max and the team have worked so hard on Audio Cupcake. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm kind of happy. It's like, you know, let's give as many people as many options as is possible. So let's go to, uh, to Audacity first, because this has just been gift after gift after gift in the last few weeks for people who were forced physically to upgrade to uh, Catalina. But I dragged a, uh, a sample uh, of, of a book that I did, uh, or that I'm in the middle of doing, onto the desktop. And so if I drag it into Audacity, you'll see this is the original. This is my original recording. It's about eight minutes long. And when you look at it in that thing, it's pretty even because, you know, I have pretty even delivery in this particular part of the book. And if I play it, he allowed his mind to wander back to the night they had met. Okay. Uh, that is the raw wave audio. So what I'd like to do is show you that Levelator does exactly what Levelator did before. It's just in a new shiny interface. So let's go to Levelator. Let's drag that right onto Levelator. And let's put it right there on the desktop next to where it was. It's got a nice new nifty progression thermometer. That's cool. So if you drag that one, here's the leveled version. It says leveled now instead of output. So if we drag that on there, it looks very similar, uh, but it's, it's thicker. It's compressed, it's limited, and it's normalized to minus 1 dB, which if we highlight some part of this and we analyze it with ACX check, it's going to fail because it exceeds the minus 3 dB max that ACX check wants and that ACX wants. And that's to be expected because that's what Levelator does. It normalizes to minus one. So if you don't want to change anything else about what you do, just use the new version of Levelator, bring it in to Audacity, and make sure that you then uh, normalize to minus 3 dB. Let's do that. Got minus 3 dB set up right here. So we'll normalize that, see how it, it kind of uh, got smaller. And now if we highlight a portion of this and we go to... ACX check, it's going to pass, and it does. It passes ACX. So you can do that, and then you can take the file and you can export the audio as an MP3 file, etc. 
But that's the process. It's exactly the same as it was when Levelator was used with older versions of Mac OS. And for those of you that are watching and are Windows users, you're like, whoa, what? It doesn't matter because the Levelator version for Windows works just fine with Windows 10 and, and with all the other uh, variants of Windows. So let's see what happens when we do Audio Cupcake. Just why this is this just so to show you kind of why I think this is great. I think now there's going to be two opportunities for people. One's free. This one is free as well, Audio Cupcake. But if you upgrade to the Pro version for twenty dollars, when you drag your raw wave file onto Audio Cupcake, what happens is you get the MP3 file, and the MP3 file is already. Uh, drop down to minus 3 dB, and it is also uh, MP, you know exported as an MP3 file. And if we grab this and we analyze it with a CX check, well, that passes all the requirements as well. And the thing is, this little file right here, that file is ready to upload to ACX. So you save the time it takes you to bring it in, and sometimes these files are pretty long. It's not a lot of time, but it can be annoying. And so you bring it into Audacity, you normalize it, and then you export it as MP3. Whereas with Audio Cupcake, you simply drag it onto Audio Cupcake, and it does all that work for you if you upgrade to Pro. And if we want to listen to it to hear how it sounds, let's, let's play it from the beginning. He allowed his mind to wander back to the night they had met. Okay, and now let's preview this and play it. He allowed his mind to wander back to the night they had met at a political... F so that's compressed. The RMS is between minus 18 and minus 23, and the peak limiting is at minus 3 dB. So it's all set and ready to go. And so for that time that you've saved, Audio Cupcake is an advantage. And maybe it's worth it to you for the 20 bucks to never have to worry about dragging your audio back in to Audacity normalizing it to minus 3 dB, waiting for that to finish, and then exporting it to MP3, waiting for that to finish. And yes, it is 192K mono. That's preset in uh, Audio Cupcake automatically. But the cool news is, I couldn't be happier that Levelator is now available for Catalina. Look, I get that money is money, and some people just don't want to spend an extra 20 bucks. So now you've got Levelator, and now everybody that uses a Mac is happy. I don't know yet how far back in Mac OS versions Levelator is. If I find out between now and when I publish this episode, I'll put it in the show notes. But I'm thrilled. I'm not at all feeling, oh, look at all that work we did on, on Audio Cupcake down the drain. To the contrary. I am happy for Bruce and for his son. I think his son's name is Cody or Corey. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Please don't hurt me. Um, but I'm thrilled for them, and I'm thrilled that they've done such a great service for the audiobook community, for the podcast community, anybody who needs that thick, compressed sound, and importantly, for audiobooks, that requirement of RMS normalization to minus 18 to minus 23, um, and it's free. So if you want it, go to the Mac App Store. That's the only way you can get it, I think. They may have an installer later on on their website. Uh, but it's in the Mac Web Store now, Mac App Store now. And get it. It's free. You can do it. Uh, or you can wait for just a couple of weeks because we're putting the finishing touches on things like the interface and the 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 sound and so on of uh, Audio Cupcake. So uh, we're excited about that. But I am so thrilled. Levelator is now working under Catalina. And it's in the App Store, the Mac App Store. I'm wondering if I can ask you a question. I'm wondering if now that you know that Levelator is available and it's free, does it make sense to you to also have Audio Cupcake for $20 to do those final two somewhat time-consuming steps in the process to master for audiobooks? Is that worth it to you? Let me know in the comments below and be honest. I, I you know, I, I got, you know, no, no pride about this. I'd like to know if you think that's the case. We've been working on it now for about six months, so we've got some sunk costs in terms of time. Um, and we're still probably going to go forward with Audio Cupcake, but I'd like to know what you think. What do you think? Uh, is it worth it to you? Is it something that you think, yeah, no, no, I'll just stick with Levelator. That's fine. 
do your commenting on VOHeroes.com. I'd really be thrilled if you would do that. That's where the conversation is sane and is uh, moderated. And I'd love to hear what you think. All right? Thank you so much for watching and for listening. I'm David H. Lawrence, the 17th, and I'll see you next time.